hi welcome back to my channel so for today i decided to do a reaction video to one of harper bazaar's go to bed with me series and this particular series is with sonequa martin green i had to look her up because i've seen her before but i haven't seen her work and she's an actress so um i wanted to see and she always has great skin so I really wanted to see what her nighttime routine looks like. So we're gonna react to this together, okay? Hey there, it's Sinequa Martin Green. <sighs> Let's get ready to go to bed. What do you say? <laughs> Her voice is sexy. <laughs> so here we are. I have washed my hands. I have brushed my teeth. It's time to get started. And I'm gonna put these on because I cannot stand when the water drips down your arms. I, I can't stand it. it. It feels so gross to me. It always has. And I'm the same way. I mean, you kind of just want to wash your face without all the cook, right? Oh, that's actually ingenious to just wear wrist bands. Okay. I got the wacky idea to use wristbands and it keeps it from happening. It's amazing. I used to approach skincare from a uh, an obligatory kind of burdened place. I would dread it even and because of that there would be many times where I would just skip it, I would avoid it. I um, recently in the last couple of years decided to change that and I, I realized that I really needed to engage in my skincare. I used this time to languish, you know? It's also a nice moment that I um, have with my husband a lot of times. It'll be the time where we really get together at the end of the day, you know? Let's get into the skincare. <laughs> Let's get into the regimen. How about that? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is oil cleanse. Um, I firmly believe in the double cleanse, and so I start with an oil cleanse, and I use Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. That's it right there. So, I have super oily skin. So oily, y'all. So oily. And it was acne prone when I was younger. I realize now that it was because I just, you know, I wasn't taking care of it. Moisturizer? Like, what was that? I didn't use moisturizer. <laughs> and I was not eating well most of the time. It was two kinds of food. It was soul food and fast food, okay? And so my already oily skin was going crazy. And I'm gonna tell you something and don't judge me, but this, this is gonna let you know what was really going on. But when I was a kid, um, there were times where I would look down and see that my, my elbows and my knees were ashy. I would, I would straight up like schluck off. Schluck, okay. I just made that word up, but we gonna go with it. I would schluck off the oil from my forehead and put it on my elbows and my knees. That's crazy. <laughs> and that's gross. I, I found proactive when I was in college, which was, which was great for the time, but then I stumbled across Dermalogica um, once I got married. And we actually uh, went on this skincare journey together, um, my husband and I. And so Dermalogica completely changed the identity of my skin. But it, what it really was is that I was just finally taking care of my skin and using quality products, right? So I'm gonna go over my eye. I just want to stop there. She is so gentle with her skin and she already made great points. Um, she already basically said what type of skin she has. She has oily skin. I have oily combination skin so I can feel her and it is acne prone. Pretty normal. Um, also, she believes in a double cleanse, which I always advocate for. So right now she's using an oil cleanser, even when she, you're not wearing makeup. If it's the end of the day, you should be wearing sunscreen. And even if you're not wearing sunscreen, you're going to have natural oils and dirt on your skin. So the double cleanse will work anyway. So you should just use it regardless if you're wearing makeup or not. And first of all, her voice is so sultry and seductive. It's like, I, I can just sit here and listen to her all day. That's like a spa treatment in itself. <laughs> but uh, that's besides the point. Um, but she is definitely being really gentle with her skin on how she do it. I think I should be way more gentler than I normally am. So I appreciate that with her. So 
and I'm not gonna open my eyes again because otherwise they might get a little irritated. And the great thing is that I love this because it, um, the way it emulsifies, it's just so lovely. And I'm gonna keep my eyes closed. <laughs> Usually it's quick. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna tap my eyes dry and not dry anything else because I'm going right into my next cleanser, which is the Ultra Calming Cleanser from Dermalogica. I realized that I needed a, a, a really gentle cleanser after the oil and just because my skin is sensitive. So this is a nice gel and it's, it's quite velvety. So again, I'm gonna be very gentle and uh, not keep it on my skin for very long. Oh, the brows, the brows are gone. <laughs> Too much plucking when I was a teenager. I know it's a lot of folk story. I like to be very slow because I go, 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 go. I go all the time and I'm a quite high energy person. I have to force myself to slow down, like slow down, Sinequa. So. And now I'm just gonna pat. I love these cloths. I just I just found out about them. They're from, they're from a company called Clear Skin Club. I used to use a microfiber towel um, right here, actually. But this company is really cool. It's 100% biodegradable. But what really got me was in the in um, in their advertisements, they were talking about the bacteria that sits on your towels and just breeds. And I was like. <laughs> And then they really got me because um, on the website it says that they, um, for every order, they plant a tree. So I said, okay, I'm using y'all. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Biosense uh, Squalane and Hyaluronic Mist. Because what I want in my nighttime routine is hydration. Hydration, 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 and moisture, of course. Um, and so anti-aging stuff too. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of spritzes, but I'm telling you, I, I have to, cause it's, it's super, it's a super fine mist. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you my next step because since it does dissolve so quickly, I, I like to go directly in with my next step, which is the, um, the COSRX uh, Snail Mucin Essence. And we'll talk about it in a second, cause it's uh, quite a thing, this uh, Snail Mucin. Okay, so here we go. I didn't really learn um, a ton of skincare tricks and, and stuff from uh, from my mom or my dad. <laughs> Although I did learn the necessity of exfoliation from my mom. Uh, she used to use these pads, these buffer pads, and I used to love uh, like sneaking in and like using using her her buff pads. This is gonna sound strange, but I don't like to exfoliate at night. I like to exfoliate in the day. I can't do the physical exfoliants. My skin is just, it just don't, it's, mm -mm. I have to do the chemical exfoliants and it has to be gentle at that. But I like to do it in the day because it makes my skin feel energized. What I'm gonna do now um, after that essence is this Neod Multimolecular Hyaluronic Complex. Because hydration is what I'm looking for, I want to get all of that in there and then lock it in. <laughs> so she makes a great point. Um, you really got to know your skin type and what it needs um, throughout the day and night. And you do need to exfoliate, whether you do it physically, which you're using a really fine scrub that is formulated for your skin or if you're using a chemical which means you're using like an alpha hydroxy acid a beta hydroxy acid a glycolic acid um, those are actives that actually exfoliate help um, basically resurface the top layer of your skin so um, for me I prefer to exfoliate at night that's just for my skin she says she prefers the day to me, it doesn't matter when you do it, but it does have to be done and it doesn't have to be done daily. 
once or twice a week, however much that your skin can tolerate is appropriate. So she's absolutely right there. I am interested in this snail essence. I've never heard of that before. And by the way, the products she's using, top notch. They're really good. I use Dermatologica as well myself. So um, they do have great products. It's not cheap. Um, it's a little on the pricey side, but I think of all the things to invest in when it comes to self-care, I think skincare, especially on your face, should be a top priority. So if you're going to spend money, I'd say spend money on your skincare. Um, so yeah, so I I really want to, I want to see if she kind of goes into detail with this snail essence and what that is, because um, that'll be interesting. So I just had a baby. And so I had a very minimal routine while I was pregnant, especially in the last trimester. I would straight up just, you know, a lot of times I would just use Bioderma micellar water and then throw an oil on there or throw a quick like moisturizer. My skin was quite glowy and whatnot from, from being pregnant. And so now that I um, am coming back to a more extensive routine, I am missing retinol and retinoids. I was using um, that very, very amazing <laughs> uh, ingredient earlier uh, before I got pregnant and then I had to stop because of course it's not pregnancy safe and it's not even nursing safe either. A retinol is so important in an anti-aging uh, routine um, and it's, it's like the champions. If I were to rate them, it would be like sun. And what she's talking about is um, when you are pregnant for our ladies, um, there are certain skincare ingredients and items that you cannot use because it, science and evidence-based practice have shown that it can be harmful for the child once it's absorbed into your skin. One of those items is retinols or ret retinoids. So if you are pregnant, you should not be using that at all. Um, you can clearly get hydration other ways, but that's what she's referring to for since if you didn't catch that. Screen, hyaluronic acid, retinol, <laughs> and the snail mucin is um, really fascinating. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I appreciate uh, where nature meets science with skincare. With the snail mucin, you know, Cosrx, they're very, uh, of course, it's cruelty free, but they put the snails in such a comfortable environment and it's this nice dark room and the snails just walk across this mesh and the, and the mucin that they leave behind uh, is harvested, which um, I think is dope. Um, so my last step with my dry face <laughs> is um, this Elemis Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream. There it is. Now, I love it. It's a lovely occlusive. It's so... Um, this straight so the snail essence is made out of the they call it mucerin but it's the slime that comes out of the snail when they walk I think I got that correct so they I don't know how they get that up off the ground and then reharvest it and make it and formulate it for the skin I'm sure it's safe but I've never heard of that and she's saying it's Korean uh beauty so i'm sure over in parts of korea that's acceptable but i i would love to have seen how that's created and you know and what are the benefits of it i, I probably would have to look that up myself just to see um because that's something new for me so interesting okay thick and luxurious and velvety i really do Feel, I feel like I can feel the oxygenation. Um, you know, it has a Mediterranean algae in it. And I finally take something down to my chest. I know it's all one thing, right? Now, I'm not quite done yet. I'm done with like the products on the skin. But now what I'm gonna do is exfoliate my lips. 
So y'all, my lips are so dry all the time. Like, no matter what I do, no matter how much water I drink, uh, I could drink a gallon a day and the lips are still dry. So yeah, I use this scrub. It's from Handmade Heroes. Um, it's the uh, ultra sexy scrub. So I take this lip exfoliating brush and just get a little bit of the scrub and take it across my lips. And I gotta do it, I gotta do it neatly because I don't want to get in the way of the yummy, the yummy stuff on the skin around my lips, right? So I just, and then I go in little these circles. You know, another thing that I don't do at night that I do during the day, which might seem backwards, is an eye cream. I don't think an eye cream is, is just like necessary, but I like to use the ones that have like, um, uh, waking up the properties, <laughs> you know, that energize and, and, and brighten and depuff and all that good stuff because um, that's always super helpful when you're getting up, you know, before the sun to work. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna take another one of those handy dandy biodegradable cloths and I'm gonna wipe it off. Mm. Oh, that's good, that's good. <laughs> and now she's absolutely right um first of all yes um lip scrubs are amazing um i have the same issue because i live in the desert so i my lips are always way too dry and cracked so i'm always using a lip scrub as well i love that she used that little brush i need to find out where she got that from because i think that's an excellent way to kind of softly exfoliate your lips um and she's absolutely right. Eye creams are not a necessary step in skincare. I think personally for me, I do like eye creams because especially in the morning, I wake up super early for work because I do work full time as a nurse. I don't just only do YouTube. YouTube is actually my side hobby, if you will. Um, but I have to wake up super early. It's still dark out. So my eyes, I don't want to make it seem like I just woke up. So eye creams for me help me in my skin wake up, but it's not necessary. So again, I think it's more of a luxury item rather than anything else. So I'm going to use this uh, lip mask from Laneige. Now I feel like I could do this all day, rubbing it in. <laughs> I just sit here like. <sighs> so now, last thing, I can take these off. Okay, so now this last thing is I've got, I've got my jade roller here. It was soaking in ice water. And I'm gonna get in some, some facial massage and a little lymphatic drainage. Yes, I am. And this is really the moment in the regimen when I can relax and languish and, and pray. Honestly, it's good prayer time for me. Yeah, so I go to the I go to the temple drainage points first and then I go down to the to the ones that are here. Mm, it feels so good. And then turn it over. Oh. And then I'm just going to come and take this down. Mm, that's it. Because I, I, could, I could keep going, but we're gonna stop there. Now the absolute last thing that I do is I just hit my hair. Um, I use this Carol's Daughter uh, Almond Milk Leave-In Conditioner, Black Owned Company. I have a lot of black owned hair products and I'm always, always in the market for more black owned uh, products across the board. And so I just spritz my hair with this Get a little moisture before bed. Since it is so short, I don't I don't wrap 
wrap it anymore. I just, you know, the silk pillowcase does the trick. And just rub it in, rub it through, rub it through. And that's it. That's it. This was so much fun. It was so much fun hanging out, going through my nighttime regimen. This was a lovely moment, right? Thank you for engaging with me. And I hope you have a good night's sleep. That was one of the best skincare routines I've seen on YouTube, period. Not just on Harper's Bazaar YouTube page, on YouTube, period. She was so soothing, so relaxed, so gentle with her skin. She used great products and she explained everything to the T. Like I could sit here, I was just watching her like, that's nice. <laughs> so, but what do you think? I think all the products she used was fantabulous. The order that she used it worked for her. Um, and it works because her skin is flawless. So just keep doing you, mama. So that was excellent. Uh, so, so again, I'm Cambria and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. You gotta be a part of my family. If not, um, you're gonna miss some great, great, great things. So just hit subscribe, then the bell right next to the subscribe button just to get any new videos that will come your way. I hope you all stay safe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.